Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we will discuss the shoulder dystocia skill drill station for Tox and Oski. What is the definition of shoulder dystocia? Shoulder dystocia is an obstetric emergency which is defined as difficulty in delivery of the shoulders after delivery of head in normal vaginal delivery despite the usual maneuvers. The incidence of shoulder dystocia is 0.2 to 3%. What is the cause of shoulder dystocia? Anterior shoulder is wedged above pubic symphysis. Posterior shoulder is in the pelvis. That is the main cause of shoulder dystocia. Now, how would you diagnose the shoulder dystocia? I would diagnose the shoulder dystocia when I examine these four features. First of all, failure of shoulder to descend with a difficulty in delivery of face and chin. Secondly, failure of head to restitute. Thirdly, the turtle sign means the head is trying to remain in the pelvis and retracted hard against the perineum and we have a double chin and fatty cheek appearance. And fourthly, when the head to bony delivery time is more than 60 seconds that prompts the diagnosis of shoulder dystocia. What are the risk factors for shoulder dystocia? The pre-labor risk factors include previous shoulder dystocia, macrosomia with a weight of more than 4 kg, maternal diabetes mellitus, BMI of more than 30 kg per meter square, previous intrapartum deaths, induction of the labor and post-date pregnancy. The intrapartum risk factors include prolonged first and second stage of the labor, secondary arrest, induction and augmentation, post-date pregnancy and assisted vaginal delivery. Now let us come to the skill drill station. How would you manage a case of shoulder dystocia? As shoulder dystocia is an obstetric emergency, once it is diagnosed, I will immediately call for help and involve the senior staff, anesthetist, pediatricians and assistants. So call for help is the first step. I will ask my assistant to explain the whole situation to patient and attendants and the possibility of operational delivery along with maternal and fetal risks. After confirming the diagnosis of the shoulder dystocia, I will make the macrobit position. So with the help of assistants, I will ensure to make macrobit position in which the healthcare providers will flux the patient's thigh tightly towards her abdomen while simultaneously shifting her hips away from the body means hip abduction. This position helps to move the pubic symphysis by up to 2 cm and it also helps to flatten and widen the sacrum. The success rate of this maneuver is about 90%. At this stage, I will ask the mother to stop pushing and I will check the fetal heart rate and avoid excessive traction over the fetal head and check whether the episiotomy has been given or not. I will give generous episiotomy or extend it if already given and it will provide the space to enter the vagina. Then I will check for the anterior shoulder. If it has entered the pelvis, I will encourage the mother to bear down synchronously with the uterine contraction and I will apply moderate traction and deliver the baby. I will ask my assistant to apply the suprapubic pressure that is called Rubens 1 in the direction of the chest to make the shoulder oblique and 90% of the babies deliver in this method. If it fails, then I will go for rotational maneuvers to get anterior shoulder in the pelvis. Next comes the Rubens 2 in which I will insert one hand in the vagina and feel anterior shoulder. Then I will place two fingers on the posterior aspect of anterior shoulder which promotes the adduction of shoulder resulting in smaller transverse diameter across the shoulders. Next comes the wood screw maneuver. While maintaining pressure, as in the Rubens 2 maneuver, I will insert my second hand into the posterior vagina and exert pressure with the two fingers on the anterior aspect of posterior shoulder or anterior aspect of most accessible shoulder. By doing so, the posterior shoulder should rotate obliquely followed by corresponding rotation of the anterior shoulder. I will attempt delivery once the shoulders move into the oblique diameter. If unsuccessful, 
continue rotation through 180 degree to bring posterior shoulder anteriorly and attempt delivery. Next comes the reverse wood screw maneuver. So apply pressure to posterior aspect of posterior shoulder and attempt to rotate it through 180 degree in the opposite direction to that described in the wood screw maneuver. Next comes the posterior arm extraction. It is also called Swartz Burnham Jacquemer Maneuver. So, if the reverse wood screw maneuver also fails, I will try to deliver the posterior arm first. I will insert hand in the vagina posteriorly, identify axilla, and reach to the cubital fossa or elbow and apply pressure and to flex the elbow in front of the body and grasp the wrists posterior hand to sweep the arm across the chest and deliver it and then deliver the shoulders if all unsuccessful we'll go for rescue procedures which include first of all zavanali maneuver in which both shoulders are hooked above the symphysis pubis so in this case we will shift the patient to operation theater immediately and relax the uterus by general anesthesia and other uterine relaxant and replace the head in the pelvis by reversal of the restitutions and extension and do abdominal delivery after catheterization the rescue maneuvers also include certain destructive procedures although these are rarely performed but those include cladotomy which means cutting off one or both of the clavicles to reduce the width of the shoulder in case of the dead fetus uh, or symphysiotomy in which we do deviation of the cartilage of the pubic symphysis to widen the pelvis but these procedures are rarely performed last comes the abdominal rescue or hysterotomy in which we shift the patient to operation theater open uterus abdominally dislodge the anterior shoulder to make them oblique and deliver vaginally or abdominally depending upon the situation and position of the head and the shoulder now this algorithm of shoulder dissociates from rcog guideline in which the whole management plan is explained like first of all the call for help next macrobert maneuvers then suprapubic pressure and consider episiotomy and then deliver the posterior arm and do internal maneuvers inform the consultant all four repeat all the steps again and come to the destructive procedures but these are rarely performed and that include the cladotomies zavanali maneuvers or symphysiotomy so that was all about the shoulder dystocia skill drill station. Thank you so much. Subscribe on our website. Allah Hafiz.